This next story has made headlines around the world because it's so rare and so horrific. A shark believed to be a great white attacked and killed a New Zealand film director as he was swimming at a popular beach near Auckland. Stuart Greer reports. The huge 14-foot-long shark was spotted near a popular beach west of the New Zealand capital, Auckland, shortly after the attack. The victim is 46-year-old TV and film director Adam Strange, who in 2009 won an award for his short movie at the Berlin Film Fest. He just yelled out, a shark! And next minute we saw him like rolling around, there was blood everywhere on the water. As other sharks circled, 200 people on Murraway Beach heard the screams for help, but the father of one was pulled under again and couldn't be saved. Five, six minutes after that, we saw about like, Three sharks all over him, rolling him around. Paramedics rushed to the scene, but with hopes of a rescue dashed, all they could do was recover the body. The police managed to um, distract the shark while we um, extracted the person from the water. So with the use of the local Murawai Surf Club and um, some distracting noise from the helicopter, we managed to uh, get the body into the um, surf boat and to shore. Police fired several shots at the shark, hitting it at least once, but it was unclear if they killed it. As news of the attacks and shockwaves through New Zealand, Strange's family gathered on the beach. Uh, well, you know, the family are, the family are very upset, They're very distraught. Murraway and other beaches along the coast have been closed indefinitely as authorities step up shark patrols. A great white is being blamed. In reality, the only sharks around New Zealand that ever really take on prey items as big as a person would be a great white. Shark attacks in New Zealand are so rare that there have only been 11 deaths since records began in the 1840s. The last one was in 1976, making this deadly attack the first in almost four decades. Stuart Greer, Global News.